What's up, Skywatchers? What is up indeed? Friday, October 25th, 2024. Floods, fires, and land grabs. Total climate chaos. A coastal storm hit northwest Alaska on Sunday, October 20th, 2024, and it did not let up until Wednesday. The National Weather Service reported water levels in Kotzebue, Alaska were 3 to 4 feet above normal high tide and the winds were gusting to 55 miles an hour. Now I was fortunate enough to spend two years living in this little arctic village and it holds a special place in my heart. I'm thinking about you Kotzebue. Another atmospheric river hits British Columbia leaving at least two people dead and dropping more than 12 inches of rain. And I did cover the atmospheric river and the polar vortex in a previous video. We knew this was going to happen. Now I wish I had the radar returns for these events, but I was down for a few days. But more often than not, we can see weather modification in these radar returns. Weather warfare has been happening between Russia and the United States for a very long time. To give you an idea of just how long the world's governments and militaries have been using weather modification, let's take a quick look at Project Cirrus. In 1947, the United States Air Force dropped about a thousand pounds of dry ice into a hurricane 415 miles east of Jacksonville, Florida. The result of this experiment caused the hurricane to change direction and make landfall in Savannah, Georgia, causing local destruction. The public was aware of this operation and blamed the destruction on weather modification. The project was later followed by Project Storm Fury, which used silver iodide this time instead of using dry ice to control the storm. NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, made a statement a couple days ago stating that the technology does not exist to create or steer hurricanes. So please go research weather modification for yourself and you'll see the statement from NOAA is a complete fabrication. So did you see that Duke Energy opened the floodgates just prior to Hurricane Helene's arrival? Yeah, that happened, and as a result, well, let's just take a look at the video. Bridges, roads, entire communities wiped right off of the map and thousands of lives lost. These are our families, our friends, and our fellow Americans, and it's up to all of us to be there for each other. Now, I hadn't had the chance to cover the Wyoming fires, the burning of even more precious forest land, all in an attempt to control the minerals and the metals coming out of the ground. And of course, I would never forget you, Wyoming. It's not an easy task covering so much carnage and loss of life. And now we have a 2,000 acre fire in southwest Oklahoma near the Wichita Mountain Wildlife Refuge with 0% containment. And yes, Oklahoma has lithium deposits and it's expected to become a major player in the U.S. lithium supply chain. Arkansas, Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, and Florida. Be aware, all of you are in danger of losing your land or worse. So it would seem that we are under attack. And I'm not sure it could be more obvious. These controlling powers are going to turn our beautiful country into a large open pit mine, significantly altering the landscape, destroying entire ecosystems, depleting our water resources and contaminating the soil, destroying wildlife and all life as we know it. Now we can blame this on other countries, we can blame this on corporations like BlackRock and Vanguard, but one face in particular keeps coming to mind. Yeah, that guy. I wanted to thank all of you who wished me well while I was down. It was just an old fashioned head cold, no need to alter my DNA, and a dear friend hooked me up with some homemade chicken noodle soup, heavy on the oregano oil, thank you. 
And I also wanted to thank those of you who helped support the channel. Suzanne Seymour, Kate the Watcher, S. Fabos, Joanne Millette, a.k.a. Jojo, thank you, Tammy Dennis, Crystal Wiederholt, and McPatty. Much love and many thanks. Okay, my friends, stay aware, be prepared, and until next time, keep looking up. <laughs>